awesome they're ready all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to mercurial competitive league my name is pacific but you can call me pack today we're having a match between not from here and pony pals Alrighty, so this this match is on cafe now cafe um is a very defender orientated map and we're seeing that not from here is going to start that so they will have the edge on that now looking at bands here we've got a standard standard thatcher band to help um, make it easier so they can keep walls up nice very interesting um i'm also kind of curious to see how this goes now cafe is very i would say it's a roam map very roam oriented map and considering how large the sites are it's going to be it's going to be hard to work and clear the players fast so we this is going to come down to execution and time awesome we're ready okay so the maverick ban cool so it looks like they're doing wall denial all right ladies and gentlemen um as well as mira so my name is pacific but it's actually pretty useful i know mira on upstairs Today defense can be pretty critical i mean uh so this, pretty rough. Alright, and then the Goya ban. Okay, interesting, okay. interesting. Now, I'm actually curious about this Goya ban. That's pretty interesting. We'll have to see how they play off of that. Okay. Now, about to get into the reveal phase. Alright, alright. So I'm seeing that they're bringing. bringing one specific entry. They got the two soft destruction. Roam clear. Okay. They got the the nomad, which is essential for cutting off those stairs so that the roam can't flink on you. Um, they're also going thermite. All right, all right. Not bad lineup, honestly. Ooh. Okay. So we see that Vitiz is switching six picking to a castle. So, and they're doing the castle on a reading and dining defense, okay. Uh, okay, so they're opening up, opening up the bottom of red, cool. That seems pretty standard. I'm also curious, because, so, really, it comes down to, like, on cafe, like, how they're going to approach attacking this site, because most of the time, you know, there's multiple ways you can attack, but... Most of the time, it goes from people go from top down doing a top floor clear. Now, defenders also having a choice in this is uh, whether they want to defend vertically or horizontally. And I can see from the upstairs presence they're clearly doing a vertical run. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like they're gonna have someone playing cocktail side. They're gonna try to waste as much time as uh, they can. I don't see them popping the hatch, so I don't know if they're gonna try to rotate from there. Okay, there we go. They pop the hatch. Cool. So they definitely are going to try to rotate out. They're definitely playing for time, it looks like. But I'm also curious to see the, aggress uh, the aggression here, too, because without proper droning, that aggression can really pay off. Okay. We got people repelling up to the top floor. You can also see somebody's... Actually, I'm curious where Buck is. Oh, he's heading up. He's heading up the stairs. So he, can't... he went from bottom. Okay, so they're doing top and bottom push. Okay, they're going to try a sandwich for this. This is definitely a vertical take. Okay, they... Yeah, they got the people droning in. Oh, wow. Buck's just... Pu <laughs> he's pushing up straight to... Straight to train. Okay, and they got the Maestro anchoring in sight. Alright. What's going on on top floor? Oh, okay. We got... We got them getting droned out. It looks like they're still on roof. It's been about a minute down ever since the start of the round. They know they're aware of that buck. They were waiting on the hatch to at any moment this can go from zero time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see Malusi goes for a floor bang. Oh sledge oh just barely doesn't see the Malusi. Alright, that's a good pick. It's a 4v5. Oh, no, make that a 4v4 as he gets the refrag. Awesome. There might playing on the hole. Oh, that's a 3v4. Down to a 2v4. All right, this is definitely in the favor of the defense now. Oh, but then he uh, takes the frag off onto the... Wait, who is... Oh, yeah, Castle. All right. 
All right. Actually, there's actually might stand a chance here, from what I see, if they're able to get through. Oh, but the Maestro's holding the angle onto site A. It's gonna be. Gonna have to see what happens here. Buck is flanking up towards red, and Lucy's ready for it. Goes for the wide swing, tags him and runs off. He's about to rotate over. Okay. Buck goes to balcony. And. Oh, he's not aware of him. Lucy is. Oh, he just. Oh, the C4 comes out and he's downed. He's about to confirm the kill. Oh, this hope gets him. Oh, no. Now this comes down to a 2v2 even odds. Mostly being in the side, actually, of defenders now that I think of it. Because they got 14 seconds. And they have to plant, but that Maestro's holding the angle onto dining. What are they gonna do? Oh, he goes for the plant, he passes through. Okay, they get the Zofia. Getting this guy clutch. And it's too late. Mute peaks from White Stairs and successfully clutches out the ramp. Wow, that was actually really interesting. I did not expect Buck and uh actually don't know why they're off, but they pushed from bottom red from first floor. That's really interesting. I haven't seen that. Now, let me see. All right, it looks like they're gonna go for the same defense again. Probably gonna try to see if they can work something else different. There's a lot of good things the defense did there from the roamers uh, picking off the guy um, on bar all the way from uh, holding the hatches down onto train. I thought that was actually really good on the roamers. However, the attackers were ready for it and they refragged off of their um off the picks which is good it shows that they're not letting the defenders get off with this aggression and they're trying to find ways to put it back in their favor oh okay so they're on the top floor interesting okay so top floor i'm curious so they're bringing the vault that's going to be very good for intel wise we're gonna have to see how she plays the cams it could be a critical play on this map this map has a lot of different angles and now that creates a lot of opportunity for Valk to put her Valk cams down and help give the intel needed to def uh, fend off the attackers all right so we can see they're setting up bathroom got the Valk cam and um cigar okay okay they're saving two drones, it looks like, and the other other two or three are in sight. Okay. Alright, they're pushing from front. Okay, okay. There's four people. Looks like they're probably gonna repel up. Probably a cigar take. But they have the they have the shield on pixel, and we have the Melissa playing on pixel. That's good. I'm very curious how they're gonna approach this top floor because a lot of times teams will go from the hatches and they'll drone out. However, with these defense, the defenders they have, they got the smoke, they got the maestro. There's a lot of plant in that. So I'm, they're gonna have to get a uh, They're gonna have to get rid of a lot of utility. If they're gonna try to clutch this out. All right, thermite drops the hatch and they're droning out cigar. It looks like Lucy's aware of this as the wall gets opened. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna try to take Pixel, but they are currently droning out people below. Oh, there goes a pick with a C4 from Tones. Nice. Oh, the Valkyrie gets down though. Will he confirm the kill? Looks like they got Jaeger supporting up. Oh, the Jaeger and the Valkyrie. This is going Oh, that went wrong. It's a 4v3 now. Attacker having advantage now in numbers. The flash goes off, and he catches the Thermite last second, giving him the pick. Now this is an even 3v3. Moosey is still holding Pixel, and they still got two in sight. Now we can see the attackers are clearly below, trying to get the vertical kill off of Maestro. Maestro is... Walking off, and also notice there's a guy on top right. Okay, good. A bomb has been located. Well, they have the buck below. Um, it looks like Lucy rotated from Pixel, goes on the breach and kills Nomad. They have Diffuser. As 
can be critical to this attack. Buck gets downed and it comes down to Zofia. Will he be able to revive Buck in time or? Okay, yes, he will. That's good. The smoke start going off on white. He's flashing out, ooh. Gets the kill off of Zof. That was from red and Lucy's holding the angle. Looks like Buck's gonna push for it. And the defenders get the round. On the defending side, there's a lot of really interesting plays from them. That Moosey, I think, actually was pretty critical. And also, her dis her dis uh, made some good anticipation for where she, uh, the, if the push would be successful. It's pretty interesting. Um, that was a very well thought out round. It was actually pretty close, too. But the refrags from the defense were critical in that. Nice, okay, so they're bringing an Echo for this one. Let's see if they six pick. Pick up the Meister and the Cade. I'm guessing based off this Cade pick, they're going below. And it looks like they are, they chose that. <laughs> but that's gonna be good. They won't be able to get rid of the hatches as easily. And I'm also curious since the bottom defense for Cafe is such a big site. It's gonna be really attacking interesting seeing how they approach ball. attacking and also how they use their utility on the map and how the defenders will put up with it. Oh, okay, so they have someone, it looks like they're gonna have someone playing in red with the shield, okay. They opened up the side of the kitchen wall in order to make it so they can throw the smokes on default plant. And they are definitely got some, it looks like they might have some roamers upstairs as well. So it looks like they may have some roam presence. Good. Now, what they're bringing, they're bringing the Ace and the Nomad. Now, does, it looks like they have a bit of utility. They got the Flashes, they got the Smokes, probably, and they also got the Zof to help get rid of, to help uh, for utility-wise. Curious whether they will use that to their advantage or not. Interestingly, uh, I actually think this defense, they're keeping a bakery uh, intact. They're not really uh, having anyone defend there, so it looks like they're gonna kind of hold back inside anchoring from prep. As you can see, they're droning in from top learning and top clear. He's uh, They're trying to clear train. However, we got Jaeger on balcony, and we also got one looking like he's in library. But if this oh, if this Jaeger is successful in his flank, it would be critical because Sofia just walked in towards the train. Now they're getting the vertical play already. The buck is tearing up the floors. They're gonna be able to look into sight and probably even get the wall. Get jammers on the walls. Oh, the Jaeger gets a pick off from our uh, library archives. Interesting. And the Jaeger gets to pick off of the buck. Oh no. Top floor, top floor is no more. Dang, that Jaeger is crucial. He's wasting time too. It's been already past a minute. You can see as the two picks go off, it's been a successful roam already. But will he be able to get the third? Yes, he will. Come down to a 1v5. Sledge being on top. Barely gets tagged. And they win. Wow. What a play from the Jaeger. Now, honestly, I would say I wasn't sure if that would work because duo roams usually work better because you get the cross crossfires and you get the angles. But he was very successful in finding the opportunities and anticipating that the enemies would be where they were. Now, that was a really good roam on his part. It was awesome. But the attackers need to be able to drone that out too. Honestly, that one messed up cost them the round. Man, that was an awesome play from him. Seems like the defense tends to bring a lot of plant and now bring in the maestros and the you know 
the loose like all the different C4s and so that's pretty good. I'm curious to see if they ever get into site and try to go for the plant, what would happen? Because I haven't quite seen them use that utility yet, but Attack likely will happen. And as many bombs as they can. So starting off, not from here, is really strong in their defense. Cafe is a defender-sided map. Attack is having a rough time with the room clear, but I would say that they are doing a good job of getting the refrags, usually. Um, last round was a little hard on the attackers because the roamer was so crazy, it was just going off, but... Man. Awesome. Um, now, I'm curious to see how they approach pushing this floor. Will they do it like last time or are they going to try to switch it up? Seeing as where they're defending from, I can safely say that repelling on windows might be a good thing to do for this because they clearly have people playing a cocktail and they clearly have people they reinforced upstairs so they're doing a clear upstairs hold this looks like it might be a hard one but they have them Lucy playing in uh, cigar again piano I mean but they're de yeah they're definitely doing a top floor take so, seeing as it is, they're droning out immediately, good. Alright, looks like they abandoned Cocktail a little bit. Oh no, they have the, they have the castle thing right there. We'll have to see if he gets that pick off of Zof. But Zof is repelling on the window. Oh, he gets the pick off! Oh, unfortunate. He had the angle before him, and it just worked out in his favor. Now, Melissa drops down a train, knowing that he's getting flushed out. Yeah, you're holding the angle from Pixel. Now we see the sledge opens up the castle from Cigar Shop. And they're gonna go and attempt to clear all the way to white. Now, how I see on, on Cafe for reading and uh, the dining defense is top floor, white is kind of like the last line of defense. Now I'm gonna, have, I'm honestly curious to see how they try to push white and clear out these roamers. Because they've already done a good job. They've, delay they've delayed the time about a minute. It's looking good for the defenders. It's a 4v5. We're going to have to see if they bring up the heat. Or if they're going to... Or if they're going to go push. Alright. Oh, he sees the castle. Backs off. Good play, good play. And we can see that they push up. Nomad is getting the flanks. They get the castle. It's come down to a 4v4. Jaeger is flanking on them. I don't know if they're aware. I'm gonna see how this, how this plays out. The Nomad gets a kill, it's a 3v3. This is opportunity, he gets the Dackle. He goes for a second. Will he get the second? He sees the Sledge. He goes apart the Sledge, and he wins it. It's a 1v3 now. And Nomad successfully gets the Jaeger, all right. Man, that is brutal. What I find is that guy is really good at finding the right opportunity to push up on the flank. Okay, he drops. Oh, but the Maestro wide swings last second. Nice try. That was pretty awesome, actually. Okay. So, we can see it's been a 4 to 0 right now. Um, not From Here is doing really well on their defenses. It just seems like the droning and the roam clear all the way down to the flank watch as well. Might need a few tweaks. Little missteps here and there. But I wouldn't say the attackers aren't doing anything like like I wouldn't say that the attackers um aren't doing their jobs here they've been doing pretty good with the refrags it's always come down it hasn't been quite flawless yet from what I remember but it's definitely coming down to whether the roam is successful I think they're um that is critical to winning their defenses all right they're six picking from the Wamai to the Cade they still got the Jaeger to help with the utility dump and then we got the Ash switching off to the Nomad. Clearly they're aware about these the, the roamers and they're trying to, uh, to, trying to put the Nomads off. down and the drones to prevent them from flanking. Which is good. They need to bring those ops because definitely seems like they have really good roam game. Now, 
we've seen this defense already. Um, there, looks like they're doing a similar setup from reinforcing off Freezer. Okay. And putting the shield on Pixel along with similar ops. So clearly this, these guys are doing the same strat. Now, the question is, will the attack do the same strat or are they going to adjust? Because we can see it be uh, before they had the Valkyrie below with the C4 and the intel for using it. As well as having, a, I believe, a Jaeger below. Attackers are heading out to defuse oh, but Valkyrie's going first floor. And he's going to go for... Oh, he thinks they're... Oh, yeah, because they've been pushing from the bottom floor. That's actually really good adjusting. I'm going to I'm gonna have to see how he plays this, actually. Oh, no, he's going to rotate back up. All right, all right. So they are definitely repelling and trying to go for the top. Okay, nope, they have people going from the bottom floor. We're gonna try to have to uh, have to try dealing with those uh, guys on second floor, the Valkyrie and the Jaeger. Honestly, they're setting up a good roam. This site is always an interesting one. From the vertical play in terms of uh, defense, they can prevent the plants. They can get the you know the kills from vertical. They can all sorts of things. They can flank. Oh, it looks like Valkyrie's engaging. The, the Zofia and the Jackal. She's standing her ground. Oh, they get a pick off. He gets the Jaeger. Will he get the Valkyrie? Nope, Valkyrie backs off. He's playing passive. Going for the long game. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Attackers recovered the Already a really interesting first. Oh, he gets the vertical play. Oh, no, that's brutal. Wow. Smoke gets the pick off of Jackal. And now you have it down to a 3v4. Okay, so they're dropping off a of red. Looks like they've droned out all of Piano and all of Pixel. They know that he's there. How do they handle it? Are they going to dump the utility, get rid of the shield? Or will they try to go for the frag? Let's see. Yep, they're getting rid of the utility. He's going to have to back off here. Yep, he rotates back into white. Oh, is he going to try to get the juicy pick off? Let's see. Nope. He backs off. Now it's down to a 2v4. Looking good for Pony Pals. 1v4, and you can see the smoke, he's the final guy, will he be able to get him? He's on breach, sees Cade, gets the pick, oh no, but he, <laughs> he waffles, no. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Thermite, with the potato, it's all right. Now it's a 5v0, looking really good for, uh, not from here. They've done really well on the roams. As well as communication, I can see every time that one of the rumors or even one of the anchors gets down, the call gets through, and they get the refrags usually. Very, very smart plays on both sides, though. Because we've seen in the previous rounds, it's gotten really close. Going from the 4v5s to the 4v4s to the 3v4 to the 3v3. You can see that they're clearly toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But being as it is, defense definitely has the upper hand here. <clears throat> now, it looks like they seem to bring the same attacking ops every time, but they're bringing good ops. They're doing a lot of Jackal being the roam clear, as well as Nomad being kind of like, in her own way, flank watch because she pre prevents flanks, and then also having the hard destruction and soft destruction. Okay, they're doing a downstairs defense. Last time we saw this, they had the two defenders. Where I think it was either one or two. I think it was actually just one. But he's defending up there, and he played a central role, in preventing them from getting that vertical play, which is essential on this site. Honestly, a lot of the time on the first floor, we see people doing the top down, and then trying to get the vertical play in order to get walls, open up the site, create the angles, in order to get the diffuser down, and win the round. In terms of time efficiency, I'd say this round takes probably the most time due to how much uh, clearing you have to do and also how much effort it takes to open up site and get all the roamers and defenders out. Okay, they got the bakery control clearly pushing in aggressively. See that they have, um, they have their uh, players droning. They have everybody. Looks like they're going to go for a mainly a prep take. 
Got the five players in bakery. I'm curious if they're aware of this. He drones it out. They know where the they know where the mute is. You can see slowly pushing into prep. Gets the shield in the hallway. But that gets rid of his utility. Oh, it looks like they may have had a Jaeger ADS on that. Alright, this is what I've been talking about. I'm curious to see how they use their plant done now, like Maestro. I haven't seen quite use that yet. But we can clearly see they're doing a prep take. Oh, mute barely whiffs off of the jackal. Throws the C4 and successfully gets the kill. It's a 4v4. You can see the jackal flicks onto the jackal. It's a 3v4 now. Not looking good for attack. Now we got people, we got a Zofling in red, front entrance, and then we have someone in prep. He is shot from red stairs. That's Jaeger, okay. Maestro's holding the angle in sight. Well, who will win this? Pushes up, my, uh, the Echo gets the kill. Oh, Mute is downed. <laughs> I didn't even know. Will Maestro go for revive or wait him out? Yeah, he'll wait him out. He knows where he is. Good one. Okay, 1v3. See how the Nomad plays. Ah, oh, but the Echo wins in the end. Nice try, Pony Fowls. Was... Interesting take. Um, they funneled in a little bit on prep. You could see that the Mute was very successful in getting those two kills off of the Jackal and off of the, um, I believe Nomad. All around. They did a really good job in the defense. Now, to see how Pony Paws handles being on the defense. Now, based off of watching um, the defense between them, noticing how uh, the roamers were aggressive, but not to the point of being too aggressive. They were trying to take advantage of the situations that were in when they knew the intel, which is always a critical factor in who's going to win the round. Seems like every time it hasn't come down to diffuser for de the defenses thus far, but will that change? Can they bring the game on? Can they bring the heat on attack side? Now they, uh, we can see that Pony Pals is bringing a different lineup. They have the, they have a Habana, and they have different ops. But they uh, have the two entries it looks like, and then the support, the flex, and the hard support. So the first defense they're going to be taking is the reading and dining defense. Seems like they might be doing yep, upstairs setup along with um, downstairs anchor. All right. See that the honestly curious to see how they approach their attacks because usually on this site people push from either the stairs or they push from above. Try to clear out those guys on the cocktail. Um, you can see that they're pushing from front and also from the side, okay. But they're going straight for the roof from what I can tell. Oh. Alright. So they got the nades, they got the ashes, they got a lot of ops that can. Um, not only get rid of utility, but also they have some pretty versatile ops in their purpose, like such as Sophia, that she can use her stuns and also breach soft walls. Okay, we can see TVS getting the pick, the opener. Good opening pick off of the Z from the Zof. Jaeger is clearly trying to hold that white, but he's pushing up aggressive. Is he pushing down white? Yes, he is, and he gets the kill. Oh no. Down to a 3v5, he's trapped in bathroom. Now it goes off with a refrag, there we go. 3v4. Now it's still pretty even odds, I would say, considering that defense usually has more advantage. However, in numbers, they are not winning. All right, now we can see that they clearly have the anchors below. Ash peeking from balcony, but does not get a hit off, okay? Now, they're going for vertical play, it looks like. Yep. They're soft reaching the floors. Maestro's huddling corner, they got the drones. Okay, they know where his location is, he's exposed, so he backs off. They're clearly opening up reading, they're gonna see if they can get any picks. 
anything to secure the advantage to them. Oh, but no. Pushing down white. See that? They get a peck off. Now it's a 3v3. Oh, but Legion is flanking up. Got rid of the gridlocks. Oh, no. Oh, but they have the Habana on the angle. Oh, and he flicks. Oh, no. They have the Fuser, too. Down to a 3v2. Looking like uh, the defenders have advantage right now. Now with the Fuser, they can play off of this. You can see they're pushing up from right. They're going to try to clear. As for drones, I do not know if they have me. Oh, but he's getting the pick off. Gets the ash low. Pushes up and gets the pick off of the... Oh. And then, we see that not from your one. Man. Good game for sure. The aggression was very successful on attack too. Awesome. Oh yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. This is a match between 20,000 now from here and... Hope you enjoyed my casting.